Uh, this one goes out to the Leak Street Poet. <laughs> um, so if you need a good prompt to get your uh, muse rolling again, uh, I wrote a misleading poem recently. It was kind of liberating in a lot of ways. So this is, this is mine, and, and those fine folks helped me revise it, so thank you very much. Um, and this is, uh, as with any misleading poem, I thought I should have a good misleading epigraph. So here's that. Um, misleading poem, and it is for you, as it were. <laughs> Listen, before the tornado touched down, a mother and son stumbled through a gas station, followed by the Arkansas Marauder, who blew bits of their skulls over the dairy aisle like silos shredded in the wind. See, you already missed the point. However, this is the way my roommate ends a conversation wherein he's unpacked his soul. I'm beginning to think what follows is similar to the scene after the scene, where Jessica Alba fucks the protagonist, he in the bathroom, reeking of latex, pissing sideways, she finishing the job in quiet panic. Then the clouds. Then what feels like rain. Why the distance between us? That's a terrible joke. As a matter of fact, take this as consolation. When faced with nighttime traffic, a deer dives off the Route 78 connector bridge, unaware the darkness conceals hundreds upon millions of misfortunes. I think of my father, and as a matter of fact, let's not go there. How mournful the unravel as I slowly peel space away from your body till nothing left is sacred. Can you feel the wind? Listen, between you and me, I asked too much. <laughs>